Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just after 1.30 in Honolulu, 7.30 in New York. It is Friday, March 20th, 2020, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver, our weekend review, and the last two weeks have been brutal in terms of gold moving to lower pricing. We saw the market move as high as 17.02. We haven't seen that in roughly seven years, but... Over the last couple of weeks, we've seen a trade from 1702 down to about 1445, 46 is moving up and it closed at, as I said, 1501, which is a good solid sign. Nonetheless, the crisis behind all of these moves, the Dow lower, gold lower, this mass liquidation is due to the coronavirus crisis. It continues to spread, it continues to grow, and it is truly a pandemic at this point. We're going to look at a longer term view of gold today, going back to when it started at about 1265 up to the top and then to current data to assess where we think it will go next week. Let's take a look at the price board. Traders, the best roller coaster in the world would not compete with the action we saw over the last two weeks in U.S. equities as well as the precious metals. We did have gold close higher today by a little over $21 at 1501.10. However, when we look at our weekly chart, and that is the chart that is sitting on the left hand side, we can see that two weeks ago, we hit the high above 1700, that's right here, and we've had two consecutive weeks of drawdowns taking the market lower. That's on our weekly. When we look at our daily chart, we can identify a pattern simply called a piercing line. Now, we've got a very, very small bodied red candle prior to that, but the true definition of this pattern type is that A, it occurs after a defined downtrend, it meets that criteria, and secondly, the body of the green candle must close at least at the midpoint or higher of the former red candle. So while it is a loose piercing line, it nonetheless matches the definition. However, you would never take a call on this type of a pattern without confluence, meaning other indicators that suggested that that was right, and a confirming candle. Now, a confirming candle would look something like this. You would get a large candle with a higher high and a higher low, and a higher close, that would signal the fact that we could be looking at the conclusion of this correction, which moved gold down approximately 200 plus dollars in under two weeks of trading. In other markets that we follow, we will look at platinum that opened higher today and closed up $14.60 at 1611.40. Palladium did trade lower on the day, losing $12 at 15.17. And silver had a really pretty strong, spectacular day, up almost 50 cents, a 4% gain, taking it 12.63 below 13, but it's nowhere near the bottom end of the scale of $12. Industrials opened stronger this morning, but once again closed down almost a thousand points on the day. Let's take a look at our technical studies and talk about what we're going to look for next week. We are looking at a daily chart. This is the continuous futures contract of April. They will be switching over to the next major month, which will be June. That will happen next week, but for right now, this is what we are noticing. First of all, we really have to take a look at the totality of the action we have seen, really going back to about June of 2019. That's when it hit this bottom at about 1270. It took us to our first high that came in here at about 1535. And then it began as a flag formation. You can see that here because we had these parallel lines and then that would definitely be a flag right there. However, rather than the flag formation actually breaking out either above because it was near these highs, what we saw was a series of lower lows and that was followed by lower highs. So here, 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 and here. And that was up until the point when it actually broke above the bull pennant 
and then hit this high of approximately 1613. That occurred during the skirmish between Iran and the United States. As quickly as the market went up, it then went down, and we can see that we had a couple of months of true consolidation in the market with 1600 providing resistance and about 1540 giving us support. At that point, we saw another spike, and this spike came in just shy of 1700. It retraced very quickly back down to 1560 and then hit the record high of the year right here at 1702. If we draw a line from this area here, which is a series of bottoms that came in just when the bull pennant started to form, you'll notice that we've got equal lows here as well as in here. So we should have a decent area of support. At the same time, we are identifying a candlestick pattern, although it is a variation of that called a piercing line. A piercing line has three basic criteria. The first is it has to occur after a defined downtrend. We meet that. And then secondly, the current candle must be green and close at the midpoint or higher of the real body of the prior candle. Now, this prior candle is a very small bodied candle, but nonetheless, it meets that criteria, meaning if we get a confirming candle on Monday, which would be a long green candle with a higher high and a higher low and a higher close, it could signal that the correction, which has occurred over the last two trading weeks, has in fact concluded. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you on Monday for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.